the tip. Man, you're good to go whenever Ryan. <laughs> Tyler, I'm tired. Me too. You know what I'm not tired of though? What? Golfing. Me either. And uh the reason I say that is because it's it's fucking nice out. It is super nice out. But I'm just I'm such a pessimist. I know we're gonna get fucking dumped on again. One more storm before the season actually starts. Oh, hundred percent. There's always a March snowstorm and possibly an April April snowstorm. I just I've been fooled too many times in my life, Ryan. I've been teased, I've been tricked, and I know better now. We're gonna get screwed. Teased, tricked, and tickled. Tickled. Um, keep talking, Tyler. I'm gonna the, look something up real quick. The three T's. Um, add another T word in there. Uh, titanium. Titanium. Titanic. I don't know. Oh, terrific. Terrific. Well, if we were going just based off of the original theme of tricked, teased, and tampered with. Tantalized. Tantalized. Yeah, mm. that works. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> um, tampered. Tampered with. Ooh. Okay. Talk something like talk some totaled. Good, Total. You guys are talking uh, absolute nonsense. Uh, right yeah, now. well, you're, you're googling, googling shit. Like paragraph right now. Well, that's fine. I mean, you guys can pod without me, can't you? Yeah, we are, and you're hating on it. Yeah. Um, this is, this is Ryan is totally not tubular right now. He's not. God, where Ryan's, is this a, at? Ryan's got a case of the Tuesdays. Oh, he's is got it? me in a tizzy. Yes. <laughs> April 2022. He's all torn up about nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here we go. All right. That was good, Matt. Uh Good job, guys. Thanks. Preview so, of the Matt and uh, Tyler show coming yeah, out soon. Coming up soon. Final World Podcast can be found. So, 2021 golf season, right? Nice. More tees. 2021 golf season. We posted our first video on March 9th, mm -hmm. which means that we probably shot it on March 8th. <laughs> or March 9th. Or March 9th of 2021. So, seven days from now is when we were golfing last year. It's almost our birthday. What do you mean? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Never no, mind. that's when we first started posting for last season. Damn. We first round it. of the year. We should do another first round of the year this year. Matt um, suggested a good video for I that did. already. What was it? Do, do we we'll, want to spoil it? No, nah, we'll... Because we'll, we actually will execute on it. So. Yeah, we will. We'll I mean, if it's out in the world. No, it's... A, but the problem is if we tease you, we have to do it. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to do it? And we don't know. We don't know. I mean, it's a good idea. It just might need some tweaks. Okay, yeah. so... And you don't know when we actually will be able to golf. Some people in mm -hmm. Arizona might hear this and just go out and make it tonight. Yeah. Those lucky Just like guys. everyone else in the world stealing swinger, they'll start stealing our video ideas. Speaking of stealing swinger, mm -hmm. do you know? Yes, Did I know. you see it? I read the DMs. So, they're... Uh, I, I don't want to speculate. I really don't. But we have to put this out in the air. Tyler, Swinger for us, it 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 holds so true to our heart because mm -hmm. it was so off the cuff. Mm -hmm. The idea and the podcast clip, all of that, it, everything worked out exactly how it should. Mm -hmm. And now we have some very notable influencers in the space that are S acting as if this is a new idea, which it can be had you not seen the clip. Right. But when... The description of this idea from other people is verbatim what we said. That's when it just grinds my gears a little bit. And, you know, it probably shouldn't bother me because we're not going to do anything with it. Yet. yet. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, it's got to it's got to be like, oh, OK, I get you're bigger than us. You're much bigger than us. But uh, at the same we, time, can we just call them out? No, we shouldn't. We can't say names. Why not? Nah, because I don't know. It maybe uh, burns bridges for future relationships. Oh, the bridge is burnt. Consider it burnt. He burnt it. I don't bridge think we, is gone. I don't think we should. Uh, I kind of want to bad. I think we should save that for Patreon. They pipe that the wrong way. I'll call the clubhouse. We'll book another 18 for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, they cheated on that. They fucked their balls. Yeah, no better time for the breakfast ball than now. <laughs> We don't have a Patreon. <laughs> we don't, you're right. We don't have a Patreon. Uh, what episode is this, by the way? This is episode 74. Welcome Guys, back welcome to the Double Boy Show. Presented by DraftKings. Yes, we are. We're back. Episode 74. The and number one enemy podcast of... Name Redacted. Rick Shields. Fuck you, Rick. Okay. Roll. Fuck you, Rick. Okay. That's not like... We're not We're not douchebags. We're at war. We're not douchebags. We're at like war, that. Ryan. We're not douchebags. Yeah, like we that. are. He's the douchebag. You are. He stole it. He's not the one who had who came up with the idea. Him, it's his podcast, though. Okay, but just relax. We might have to just cut that out because nope. that's just aggressive. Nope. <sighs> I'm not cutting caught, it, Mitch. Don't you cut us it. In a feisty mood today, right? Why? Why are you guys so feisty? Just been a lot. If we anyone were, should be feisty, it should be me. We were in here waiting for you for like an hour. I had shit going on. Yeah. Okay. 
I, I'm, I, 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 when Miles walks in, he immediately starts yelling for me. <laughs> and it's like, okay, just relax for that, a quick That means second. you're a trusted right-hand man. Yeah. Yeah, but I also take the most heat out of anybody. Heavy as Minus, the head that wears I, the I would say Tyler and I take the most heat out of anybody. <laughs> you guys are fine. Can't handle the heat. Says the guy the kitchen. who gets zero heat. We should yeah. start giving Matt more heat. Probably. What kind of heat I've, do I've you probably, want? I've probably had it too good for too long. Your hair looks bad. It does. I'm getting it cut later this week. <laughs> Okay, let's get back. That's from the hat hair. Let, let's get yeah. back to the topic. Um, all right, Rick, if you hear this, uh, I'm not mad at you. I I'm am. just a little bit disappointed. Um, we maybe, said- maybe it was organic. Maybe it wasn't. But uh, I mean, like we're, you said, we're trying to we're we're trying to get legs on this thing, and I feel like we've gotten legs over the last uh-huh. year or so. Um, and we when we have a banger idea like that, that we are we are currently working on executing. Uh, spoiler alert: We're trying to execute. We got a couple of roadblocks. Miles may be one of those roadblocks. <laughs> uh, Speaking of heat. Yeah. So um, just, I mean, if it wasn't original, just come on. Yeah. The only thing that makes me think it wasn't is, like you said, how verbatim it was. I know. I know. And the reason the reason I think that it came like from our clip was because the clip had two to three million views. Mm-hmm. Someone had to have seen it and sent it to, sent it to them. I, just, I don't want to speculate. It's not an original thought. But also, Tyler, you know. That just shows like the power of the podcast. If we come up with good shit, people keep listening. You mm-hmm. guys keep supporting us. Um, we're gonna keep having ideas like that that other people are gonna latch onto. So I think uh, being the the being the originator of the idea, uh, and now we we got messages saying like, "Hey, I've had this idea for a year." It's like, yeah, that's that's awesome. We just brought it to light for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have a clip to see to steal the idea. Correct. From. Yes. Um, Rick, still fuck you, but uh, just in case you want to be involved and and. Uh, promote our app okay then, first, first then. round of investing is open <laughs> yeah you're just saying but also still eat shit but now you're just, now you just look like that guy tyler that ryan like, relax i'm i'm relaxed i'm just saying like to tell someone to go fuck themselves is like that's okay that's a little overboard no it's not it's part of the bit but then i get that but um all right we're gonna move on from that because i don't know it's just a fun little tidbit i don't know if you listened to the clip i did i did um yeah so anyway swinger may still be a thing may not be a couple of roadblocks whatever i think this is just fire underneath our asses to get out here and like actually <laughs> more heat done. yeah i mean i'll heat. play i'll play him in one old match okay <laughs> do you think that'll win the one whole match us? matt one we whole could, match we could beat rick i mean Maybe as, just, a, maybe as just, a duo. He's just good at reviewing clubs. I've never seen him play a full round. I have. Hmm. He plays many full rounds on his YouTube. Yeah, I don't watch his shit. Well, yeah. I do watch his club reviews, damn it. They're good, too. <laughs> they are. <laughs> what did you do last weekend? Uh, we went ice golfing. We did. We went ice golfing. Uh, it was a little bit underwhelming in the fact that I, I was informed that it would be a full golf course on the ice. No, it's supposed to be. Yes, uh, storms Midwest threw a little wrench into the plan, so it ended up being more mini golf. I would say it was kind of like a hybrid of mini golf and um, maybe a three hole loop. What do you mean by? Three I would hole say loop? it's like uh, it's like two thirds of the way to a par three course. Yeah, I mean each hole was anywhere from like thirty to forty yards, probably. Um, Matt, you were there. You were I playing. Was there. We were using seven irons, seven irons pitch and wedge. I mean. The wind on the ice is, you really got to play the wind. I've also just never played golf in that extreme of conditions before. And it was, it was actually pretty nice out, all things considered. Yeah. And it was, it was a little windy on the lake. It was like nice up on the shore, but when you got on the lake, it was windy. But yeah, we played with one club each and they ranged from anywhere from chest putters to sand wedges. Yeah. And everything in between except for drivers. There was uh, that one tiny driver Jade had. Yeah, that youth driver. Yeah, the youth driver. Yeah, youth driver. What uh, I thought was cool, though, was like, all right, so we're at this. It's called Frost Fest, Walker, Minnesota. Shout out to them. We sit at the Northern Lights Casino, uh, which we'll get to here in a little bit. But uh, you basically just buy a ticket. You walk up. You get a club and a tennis ball. And I believe they're 10-inch holes drilled by an auger, mm-hmm. like halfway down into the ice. With Pins, a fl- pin pins stuck into the ice. Yeah, right then and there. Um, Nine-hole loop. We ended up playing it twice, which is actually... After the first round, Tyler was the only one who wanted to play it. And then it went like succession style of like, all right, tell me right now if you want to play or not. And 
I almost want to be like, well, Tyler, in order for this to be legal, you have to leave. You have to leave this group so we can then decide. I can't believe no one wanted to play. No, legal- nobody felt bad for Mitch. It the reality of that. It wasn't that we didn't want to play. It's just that given the choice, you said it's either a yes or no choice. And I don't like to be that guy who's like, oh, I don't care either way, because that adds nothing to the group. Mm. So I'm like, I'm going to just take a stand on what I believe. And at that moment, I was feeling no. But okay. I'm very glad we did play again, because that second round was a blast. It was way more fun than the first round. Wow, that was very well put. Thanks, Matt. Thank Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, I, I got it in um, every now and then. And I, I wanted to play the second round as well, but I just didn't want to wait in line. So there was no line the second time though. Well, there was no line when we first decided that we were going to play, and then everyone was kind of like, eh, "What do you think?" And then the line started to stack up a little bit. We yeah, Which, there was only two people ahead of us, right? One big group, and then like a couple. Yeah. And then yeah. we got in front of the big group. Let us play through an ice golf. I mean, the pace of play on this <laughs> ice, ice golf tournament was like <laughs> bad. There's no atrocious. other golf course where there's children in strollers, right? I know. Yeah. I know. I'm like, Matt, are you seeing this right now? There's literally like a uh, like a. A two-person stroller right in front of us. Yeah, we might have to recant a statement that we've made previous on the podcast where we want a a Bev tent at the end of each hole. Mm. There was a beverage tent at the end of each one of these ice holes. Traffic was backed up. I mean, we've talked about that. We've talked about like uh, booze reps going out and sampling out yeah. their... Uh, their liquor, their their new home brews or whatever. Yeah, they had some craft beer competition going on. Yeah, well, we I mean we threw that out there. Did mm-hmm. anyone vote on any of the? No, beers? I didn't. I didn't even have any of the beers. Absolutely but not. I don't like anyone. Like, you didn't have any of them. Ah, uh, I just I was just too focused on the actual golf, and I always had a beer in my hand. Already, yeah, me too. So. And so the homebrew thing, I don't know. I like it's good. I yeah. can't it's mix good. multiple beers. Together. I know it's just, it just you're, it's leading to a disaster, especially with the same cup because you just got like a little tiny bit of the last peanut butter beer you had before, and that's like oh you one kept of my the cup? biggest pet. Yeah, they leaves. told you to each station. You're supposed to use the same cup for. Oh, it, I, I just got a new cup for every, all four beers at each station. Well, I didn't try all. I only tried one at each station. Oh, I tried them all. I was getting my tickets worth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's one of the big things. Like, I'm very picky with like food and drink in general, and mixing cups, like, or mixing beverages in the same cup, I just can't do. I need a fresh cup for everything. Weird. My dishwasher is put to work 24 seven at my apartment. Really? So if you have water in a cup and then you want to put like water is the milk exception. in there, water is fine. Ah, milk would be a little weird. What if you had water. milk in a cup and then wanted water? No, that that's not <laughs> cloudy water. Even if you yeah. like just rinse it, rinse it out quick. I would probably have to wash. I'd probably have to get a sponge in there at least and wash. Damn, it. no Are shit. Are you a little bit of a germaphobe? A it's bit. not even germaphobe. Like I don't. I'm the type of guy like food doesn't touch. Uh, when I go to restaurants, I eat all the fries first, and then I've the noticed that. It's, yeah, I don't know what You're, it is. So you eat the fries before you eat anything else? I do, mm-hmm. I do not touch anything else. I won't like necessarily finish the fries all the time, but once I'm done eating the fries, I do not go back to the fries. So how so, many times do you fill yourself up on fries and then not finish your burger? I've left a fourth of a bacon cheeseburger in a lot of places. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Well, and so the main grab on the plate is the you're not ordering fries with a side of bacon cheeseburger. You're ordering a bacon cheeseburger side of fries. So you're not even getting your money's worth. I don't know what it is. Why don't you start with the burger? Because it just seems wrong. No, it doesn't. In what way? I, I I can't explain it. And I've been asked to multiple times, especially in the last year, a lot of people have called me out. I think it's because I turned 26 and I'm still doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but you can rent a car for Christ's sake. So <laughs> I can't eat my burgers and fries. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're not, are you putting like if you have mac and cheese as a kid, right? And there's yeah. hot dogs in it, do you eat that's all fine. the hot dogs first? No, that's a combo. That's like a soup. Okay. I'm so, so like, rattled. It's a burger and fries. It's not, I guess it is hot dog and mac and cheese, but it's, like, yeah. it's combined. Like they're meant to go together. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a weird thing I do. I also, when I go to, <laughs> you're going to hate this one. Oh God. <laughs> when I go to a movie theater, I do not touch my popcorn until the actual movie no, starts. I agree with that. I, I have, I don't have the self-control that you do, mm-hmm. but there's too many times in my life where I am of maybe even halfway through my bucket of popcorn before the movie starts. And then you're just sick. And yeah. like your fingers are all buttery for the entire movie. It's all you can think yeah, about. Yeah, your pop is all the way gone and you're going to piss you yourself get... halfway through the movie. Okay, well, number one, get napkins. Okay. <laughs> Wipe the butter off. Yep. Number two, just pee before you get into the movie theater and then start I never have that pop. problem. Yeah, but if you chug, I chug the pop. Like, even if I Why do you chug the pop? Because I'm eating salty popcorn before the movie, and then I get thirsty, so then I drink my pop, and then I go back to the popcorn, and it's a vicious cycle. And then if it's a long movie, by the time it's halfway done, I have to pee again. I think 
I think that's more of a personal problem because I don't for, I don't see myself having that issue ever when I go to a movie. I dip, well, then you're not drinking as much pop as me. Probably. Do you get the large pops? Yeah, because it's a combo. You gotta get a large pop, large popcorn. It's only like 25 cents more compared to like getting a medium or a small. That's how they get you. Yeah. Also, it's like we there's people and we're we're subject to this as well, but they bitch about prices at the bev cart of like beers or mixed drinks or like a bag of chips whatever but we will willfully play pay 15 dollars for a small popcorn at a movie but how often, movie, is, how movie, often are you going to a movie compared to a golf course that's that's very true uh and that's the, very true i would say in the winter for me it's pretty comparable really but if i anyone, go to a lot of movies you're at the cinema often i, I do enjoy the a good theater flick. <laughs> If anyone's price gouging in this world, it's movie theaters. They're per- they well, are they price have, gouging they worse have to than. Survive. I I have been I have been to a movie with uh, another person before, and I've I've picked up the bill for food, and I shit you not, forty eight dollars, forty eight dollars. I could get a top of the line Wagyu steak for forty eight dollars. Uh, you are, I go to so many movies. I bought the lifetime bucket. So every yeah, yeah. I, it was like forty dollars for the bucket. And now every time I go to the movie, it's just free to fill it up. Why did you not talk about that when we talked to Marcus Theaters on YBR? Because you guys would have made fun of me. <laughs> so this is well, now we're gonna, we got to bring this back up. <laughs> yeah, it's a great move. Okay, so $40 for the lifetime. You just mm-hmm. bring it there every time? Yep. Like, Where do you store it at your house? Just put it in a cupboard. My wife would not go for that. Why? There's, because this takes up too much room. There's it's, so many giant bowls that you use like twice a year. I use this way more than twice a year. Is it a nice container? Yeah, it's. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like fine china, but it's nicer than the regular ones you get. But like, there. you could wash it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's you, it made I, out- I kind of assumed it was just those like cardboard like paper ones. Uh, that they give what's it made you. out of? Do you remember the cups we got at the Ryder Cup? Yeah. Like that hard, hard okay. plastic that's trying to be glass. Yeah. That. Interesting. I don't know if I'd pay forty bucks for a. Oh, well, I think I would, but I'm, I would pay forty bucks for three popcorns at a movie theater. Yeah, if you go to the movie, if you go to the movie three times, it's mm-hmm. probably like a year. It's probably worth it to have that. There was a period in my life where I was going at least once a week. Did you have movie pass? Well, yeah, but you yeah. were in college, right? right? Time. Yeah, and so it's definitely two, scaled down. I would say I maybe go to two a month now. Well, and also they have deals on Tuesdays for college could, kids. Yeah, that's everybody now. Oh, they, they scrapped every, yeah. that. It's the whole world. Five dollar movies. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I mean, this is completely unrelated to golf, but when's the new Batman come out here in town? Um, tomorrow, out. Friday. Yeah, it comes out Friday. In town? Yep. I looked it up. I couldn't. I couldn't find any. I couldn't find any show times for Fargo. Maybe it's full. Maybe I hope not. Maybe. Uh, well, it wasn't even like listed. Interesting. It was like listed as coming soon, and I it, it didn't give me because we got to go to that new Batman. Are you looking movie. at? Oh, yeah, that's I'm my going big plan Friday. for next week. I know you are. You're going yeah. to Minneapolis for it. Yeah, IMAX. IMAX. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. It won't. Don't honor my bucket there. So are you bringing? Oh, I was just gonna ask you bring the bucket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need to get a lifetime refillable drink. It's like an eighty-two ounce. Uh, they don't have them. I'd have one for sixty okay. bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm also a Magical Movie Rewards member. For two hundred and eighty dollars, oh, wow. you can get unlimited pop, popcorn, and uh, crunch ice cream bites. It's you know, a great movie pickup. Honestly, lot. you go Tuesday nights. There's dinner for the whole family if it's unlimited. Yeah, you, I mean, you're you balling might, on a budget. If you want your dinner to be if you're, popcorn and Twizzlers, <laughs> then yeah. Yeah, if you're the, they got mini corn dogs. If you're the CEO of like a Fortune 500 company and you want to go out to a nice dinner, you go to the fucking movie theater because you're gonna drop eight hundred ninety two dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's a way food. bigger flex. I That's know. why movie theaters are the best first date spot. It's the best place to flex how much money you have. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, go ahead, get that, get that large popcorn. I got you. Oh, you want to throw in a bag of M- a bag of M and M's? Go uh, for it. Uh, probably yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many impulse decisions at the tail of a movie theater. And it's the same way in the... Go- Maybe movie theaters and golf courses are a little more similar than we thought. You ever sneak in your own candy? Uh, yes, many times. You want to know how to grow your own mushrooms? <laughs> you want to know how to sneak in your own candy? You want to know how to do- hide a dead Show body? Show your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever? Yeah. No, oh, my ass? Your- <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, all the time. You, you've shoved candy up yeah, your... Yeah, if you got to freeze the Snickers first, it's easier. Really? Well, no, the, the, life, the, the Lifetime candy box is up Tyler's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ying yang. That, that one's for free. I'm just, I'm just shitting... shitting uh, what, what would be a good Nerd's candy? Nerd's rope. Nerd's yeah. rope. <laughs> uh, we're looking... I'm thinking like two feet today. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, uh, those crunch <laughs> bites. Oh, Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> That's a dangerous game. Yep. Um, okay, we got to wrap this ice golf thing up. All right, so we golfed 18 total holes. Um, we played... Golfed with uh, Kevin, right? Fan of the Jordan, page. Jordan. Jordan. No, Kid. me and Jordan. We won the second round of nine. I think we were like one over or something like that. It was... I was a lot more impressed by 
the ice golf than I originally came in thinking mm-hmm. about it. Um, I had a seven iron, which I think was about perfect. Can't get much loft on it. And some of the holes are like quick dog leg to the right, quick dog leg to yeah, the left. Yeah, with three feet of snow on the left three or right. Three feet of snow. And if you hit the snow, it's not, it wouldn't skip across it. It would immediately just die. Yeah, too many footprints in there too. A lot yeah. of balls lost in the footprints. Yeah, uh, the amount of ball fluffing, I don't, I, I just assumed I was the only one doing it right away, no. but then I found out everyone was doing <laughs> yeah. it. So I'm glad I did because I was fluffing the shit out of that ball. Yeah, I mean, to me, a footprint in the snow is a man-made obstacle. Yes. And in golf, you get a free drop from a man-made obstacle. And so. there's no way you're going to get a ball out of like a foot of snow without just absolutely swinging the club <laughs> as hard as possible. Could you imagine around. if we tried to play ice golf by the book? <laughs> How long we'd still be golfing? Yeah, I mean, we would each be like twelve over, probably fifteen over. Yeah, I was nine. six over, four over after the first hole. So yeah, I hit it into a lot of footprints. Yeah, it was a good group of people though. Um, we wrapped up ice golf, went over to the casino, stayed at the casino. Mm-hmm. Not true. We went to a sports bar first for dinner. <laughs> we did <laughs> no. go to the sports bar. We sure did. Um, let me tell you something about a new food drink establishment that you walk into. If you're starting to question your decision upon walking in, immediately turn around and walk Go. out. You, you can because catch the vibe immediately. Your gut is always right. Yep. So you get a bad vibe. You walk in, you get a bad vibe. And you're like, okay, well, let's just try it out. No. Nope. You don't, don't try it you out. You get don't. that thing where everyone in the group turn is around. looking at each other, but no one's like willing to step uh-huh. up and say, like, no, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, and I know that uh, there might be a hostess or host there being like, all right, how many you guys got? And like, if you need to walk out even after he or she asked that, do it immediately. Um, two and a half hours after we walked in, <laughs> we our bellies were full. It was a sports bar with no sports on TV. <laughs> None. No sports. It, was, it was CBS 60 Minutes, I believe. Yep. Yeah, like 60 Minutes. And actually, 60 yeah, so, Minutes, uh, Minot, North Dakota. Yeah, Murder in Minot. Yeah. So that was a local story, at least. Yeah. Local, hey, got pretty invested. We were there long enough to see the yeah. whole episode. Well, uh, fortunate for you guys, because my back was turned to that TV, so I was <laughs> looking at the door the whole entire time. <laughs> and no one was coming in. No. Just thinking about... Should I just run for it? At yeah, this point? I was literally thinking about it. Like, um, first off, the parking spot I chose was halfway into the parking lot, halfway into the drive. So I'm like, fuck, is that. my truck going to get hit? And then you walk in, vibe is bad. We're like, okay, we'll just try it out. Uh, no music whatsoever. No. The only thing you're hearing is the video lottery. And machine. slot yes. machines. Slot yeah. machines. Yep. Um, I couldn't get out of there fast enough. Unfortunately, it took two and a half hours. So, um, again, we won't name names. Because we don't, we we just haven't named names yet on this podcast. <laughs> but I, I don't even remember the name. I won't be going be back. I do because I I I you wrote it down in your shit list. No, I bought the I bought the burger that was named after the establishment. Uh, oh, now I remember. Yep. Yep. Um. So then we went back to the casino, and I haven't been to a casino with like a gr- a good group of guys like that in a long time. Did it live up to your expectations? Well. I put myself at like $120, $150 limit, and I was out in probably an hour and a half. I did milk 100 bucks on the blackjack table for that amount of time, for an hour and a half. Yeah, the blackjack yeah. table was the most fun part of the trip. I, 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 I agree with that. I had a lot of fun at the blackjack table. I didn't realize... I understand the core rules of blackjack, like how to win, how to lose. I didn't understand all of the fine intricacies of table etiquette. Yeah, so table etiquette is like when the dealer's showing a bus card, which... uh and the first one's debatable, but a two, three, four, five, and six, a two showing a two is like the dealer's ace, but you still kind of treat it as a bus card. Um, if they're showing a two through six, that shows you that they have a 12 through 16, which then they, they flip a 10. They have to hit on that until they hit 16. They have to hit on that as well. Um, so basically any hand that you have, that's, that's a 12 or over. You want to stay on that. And if you hit it, you have a good chance of busting your hand, not even giving yourself a shot. Mm. And you have a chance of screwing other people on the table over because if you take the bus card out of the deck, that means the dealer does not have that bus card. Yeah. The, to me, it's like someone's going to get the bus card. How am I supposed to know? What if by You me, want the dealer to get it. Well, what if me staying means the dealer gets the card they want? So no the, one gets mad about that. No, I know. So the odds, like just how the odds work, it's more in your favor to stay on those hands than it is to not stay on those hands. Yeah, I, I so, don't know. It was, there was, a, and you can ask the dealer what to do. I feel like that should be a no no. Oh, yeah. They'll, no, there's, can, a, there's a blackjack book. I don't know who wrote this book, but there, there is a book. And they will tell you what the book says to do on certain hands. 
Yeah, and I did not. I I just feel like that. That's part. Of, imagine if, imagine if like before a play in football, you went up to the ref and be like, "Hey, is it cool if I do this here?" The ref would be like, "Yeah, do whatever you want. I can't tell you what to do." Yeah. Like, hey, is it a good idea if we run a QB sneak here? The ref isn't going to say yes or no. Yeah. No. Exactly. It's just that's just the name of the game. That was so strange to me. Yeah. And then uh, we, you know, we obviously had like a high roller come up. He cashed in four hundred right away, and that was his, a little intense. Got his black chips, and I, I don't really, I don't like playing with those kind of people that are playing a hundred bucks a hand because if you screw up, they're going to let you know. Yeah, he did. Oh yeah. Yeah, my buddy was he was the anchor of the table. Yep, and that's a bad spot to be if you're not like super in tune with how to play black. Yeah, we should have switched spots with you guys. I, I, I would. Yeah, I don't know what I was. I was, I was playing good, so I didn't want to move. Yeah, but. It was very intimidating when that guy walked up because it's just the pressure of his bad decisions were on our shoulders. Yeah, and he was like really quiet and mm-hmm. wouldn't didn't James off- Bond villain esque. Like we offered to get a chair, right? Or we offered to give him a chair, and he's like, "No, I want to stand." Um, and it was just it was very very intense. He's just staring at the dealer like yep. with very dead eyes. Yep. Yeah. He was a little. He was like too. Yeah, he was too intense. Thank yeah, God he won money. Too intense for Walker, Minnesota. And yes. he, didn't, he didn't like. He didn't really say anything the whole time. Like people would like cheer him on and everything. He gave him, like no facial expression. Completely no, nothing. emotionless. Yeah, because yeah. I was so confused because he asked the dealer at one point, "Is this a double?" And I was like, "You don't. I don't think you have to ask. I think you're allowed to just double if you want." He was at. Yeah, he was asking <laughs> about the book. Yeah, and I was like, "Wait, that's when I found out you could just ask the dealer for fucking advice." Yeah. And I don't know. I didn't like that guy. No, but he's probably a nice guy, but I didn't like the situation. Yeah. Who knows? Definitely made me not want to keep playing blackjack. You know what would be cool is if you could walk into a golf course. We always bring this back. We always bring it back. <laughs> if they had a blackjack table in the clubhouse of a golf course, you walk in for your tea time, you you pay you pay like five bucks, right? And you get like X amount of hands. You get like one hand. If you win that hand against a dealer, you get a free drink at the Bev cart. Mm. And then you can double down on that. You can play them again. And if you beat them, it's almost like it's double or drink, nothing. You just poker you, with drink tokens. Kind of, yes. Yeah. You just set a chips, they're all drink tokens. That would be sick cuz the biggest thing in small town bars is getting getting the mm-hmm. wooden nickels. They need to start having that for Bev carts. Why do they not have wooden nickels for Bev carts? If you're that's if you're really point. pumping the pockets of a be- of a Bevcart uh Bevcart girl with like tips and all this kind of stuff like they sh- they should throw you a wooden nickel. Yeah, like at least on whole a nine. ball marker. Yeah. A wooden ball marker. So we need to start implementing that. We need to get we need to just get some wooden ball markers for that you can redeem for free drinks. We need to Good start for pay- one putt. Good for yeah, or yep, you play uh you're playing three putt poker. Hey, I got I got I got a wooden nickel for you. I'll take a two putt instead of a three. My grandpa, so he's got a game that has chips, right? And each chip has a golf event on it. Ooh, what kind and of event? So it, it, it's one of them's longest drive, and you give that out every par five. One of them is closest to the pin. You give that out every par three. And at the end of it, all the chips are worth X amount of drinks or X amount of dollars or something like that, and then the rest of the group has to pay up Ooh, to whoever has all these chips. That's a good idea. Um, I forget what all the other ones are. It's like most putts, so like a couple of bad ones that you don't want that are, you pay out instead yeah. of getting paid in. Um, I'd have to look the game up. But we should just start making chips and selling them on the site. I'm making, like a, making like a chip pack. Um, so yeah, it's longest drive. It's most putts. It's this. It's that. It's closest to the pin. Um, that would be kind of fun. I'm in on that. Because again, like... The reason I like three putt poker is, Matt, you're just getting into golf, so you're not like you're not. We've been playing longer than you. That's why we're better than you, right? There we go. Good save. Um, <laughs> so, but three putt poker doesn't matter because it's just like once you get on the green, you can still putt. I mean, our running joke every time is it's better to not get on the green. Correct. So, so you're closer to three putt poker. Yeah, so you can chip on chip close, two putt, one putt, whatever. How many times do we say that at the Waste Management Open when someone wouldn't get to the green? Like, ah, good for poker. I think literally Tons. every single time it happens. <laughs> yeah. Great for three putt poker. I know I say it literally every single yep. time. Even if you put off the fridge, it still doesn't count. Yep. Because you're not on the green. Not three. a putt in regulation. Um, Yeah. Three putt poker is a great game, no matter the skill level. But that was the weekend in Walker, Minnesota. We did some, we kind of changed it up, changed the scenery up. We did the ice golf tournament. It was um, kind of a golf weekend. I believe we got first. Yeah. I think we got first. Yeah, we definitely, I mean, we forgot to submit our scorecards, but like we still won for yeah, sure. We're still undefeated. Yep. That is. 
Um, yeah, it's gonna be. I would definitely do it again. I would do it. I would be curious to see what it's like on a full course. Yeah, my uh, one of the buddies that was with said his lake that he has a house on. They do a full one every year. Malax, where you guys went on the fishing trip. Yeah, I won't go back there. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, we'll skip the Malax one then. Yeah, I won't be. I won't be stepping foot on that lake. Matt, do you want to go? I would love to. Okay. What's wrong with Malax? You have a bad experience? Very bad. Okay. Yeah. We can leave it at that. <laughs> Seven hours, no no bites, no marks on the on the Vexilar. Damn. And uh, it had nothing to do with how good you are as a fisherman? Uh, flat tire. Uh, I mean, the guide who was out there put us in the spot. Oh, okay. So I had no, I had no control, which is great because then I never, I didn't take the heat for it. That is nice. Uh, flat tire. It's shitty. Um, same kind of thing. Like couldn't find a great bar to go to. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was... I won't. I mean, I won't step foot out there ever, ever again in my entire life. Damn. Same as that, that quote unquote sports bar. Yeah. Never imagine again. If, imagine if Malax had a college and like my kid ended up going to college there playing sports <laughs> or something. And I would just refuse to go to any games. No, he he. Yeah, is it the lake or the? Because it's just a lake. It's, it's not the, a town. Yeah, I mean, it's in it's the entire town. As soon as like you cross the city line, there's no town. Oh uh, no, there there's like a little community. Yeah, there's like a bunch of towns around it. Yeah, well, there's a there's like a holiday run, like Burger King. There's a liquor store. So, like, mm-hmm. what town is that? Um, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of little towns. I don't know what part of the lake you're on. I just won't step foot anywhere. In, none of those. Towns. I won't step foot in that county. Ever Even if again. your wife like wanted that. to like unroot and go plant roots there. No, absolutely not. I would just like keep my house back here in Fargo and just live here. <laughs> Commute. <laughs> yeah. Visit halfway on the weekends. Yep. Yep. So find a hotel. I'm out of the Mille Lacs, uh golf tournament. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm in for next year. Okay. Let's do it. Ice golf 2022, 23. All right. We're going to take Whatever a quick break. Um, we're going to come back and we're going to talk, uh, God, Tyler, what were, what were we going to talk in the second segment? Fast food. Oh, uh, we're going to talk, um, I want to talk bucket list golf courses, domestic golf courses Ooh. that we would absolutely die to golf in the United States here. So we're going to put a quick list together. We'll come back from the break and. Um, lay it out for you guys. Guys, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with things, but basketball is hot right now. Bas- college basketball got turned upside down onto its head last week. College basketball got grabbed by the ankles, turned around, and shook until the change came out of its pockets. And that change is new rankings. Oh. A little play on words for you there. One through six go down last week. How much money do you think people won on DraftKings? Somebody had to have a parlay. No, what was it one through six or the t- six of the top ten teams no, went down? It was, it was one, one through, through six. six. First time in history. No shit. Happened. In one day all went down uh somebody some kid somewhere not kid someone that's 21 or over um had a six leg parlay to have all those teams lose somebody out there is a millionaire now because of DraftKings. absolutely and what and how could you not be considering DraftKings has every bet you could ever want going into barge madness going to the nba playoffs all basketball all sports it literally has like every bet i mean i've talked endlessly ad nauseum on this podcast and on the goose egg sports podcast about everything i've won in the past few weeks i'm on an absolute heater right now jade gave me an insight on a hockey bet that i placed after you guys went to bed on saturday <laughs> won 130 bucks Jeez. are you not gonna give anyone insight on the bet i gave you the, that's true you did give me a ufc one i kind of forgot about that absolute lock you also gave me a gonzaga one that was not good no that was that was mid game i had no prior knowledge on that <laughs> the vodka so, crayons were flowing yes so the bet i did give you was an absolute lock and you it did. hit you did overall let's just say it i'm hot right now i'm pretty wealthy and it's thanks to DraftKings. uh any since you're so hot right now what is the next DraftKings bet you're taking? Give me a March Madness bet. A March Madness bet for a, like a sleeper? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like LSU as a sleeper. Really? Yeah, Lane put me on to them. They're a really fun team. They set a lot of screens and do a lot. Of, they're very physical. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's really fun. Can you bet the over-under screens? I wish you could. I mean, on DraftKings, I'm sure you can. You probably can, right? Somewhere. They got a we don't want. We also don't want to speculate. I, yeah, I, it's I, not I, for I, sure. Yeah, not no, for I, sure, but if there were it, yeah, to be a site to it do it, it would be DraftKings. Draft um, so yeah, since football's over, it's fine. You, there's all sorts of stuff to bet on, and especially basketball right now. It is hot as hot can be, especially with the world being tipped upside down on itself. And uh, yeah, we just got to tell you one thing before we sign off on DraftKings. Must be 20 years old, New Jersey, Indiana, Pennsylvania, only new customers, only minimum $500 deposit, one dollar rate required, one per customer, restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for sportsbook for details. And if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. That was your best one yet. Let's yeah, it go. was. That was money. Espresso shots, two of them before, Ooh. after Did lunch. Mm, yeah. We're going to have espresso again tonight. I'm not. 
You gotta make them. I'll make them for you, but I'm not gonna. Miles, I'm not, Miles is gonna be pissed. Ryan, Tyler, gonna, I'm not gonna sleep. Ryan's gonna be tossing and turning today. It's, I'm literally not gonna sleep at all. I'm gonna have know. to take some. Uh, what are the What are the sleeping pills that melatonin? People, no, the sleeping pills that people get prescribed. Uh, Ambien. Why yeah, you, Ambien. Why are you pointing at me? Because well, <laughs> <laughs> I I know you know. I don't. Yeah, know. I had buddies in college prescribed to that, and they would get goofy on it. It was. Isn't it just supposed to make you go to sleep? Yeah, but if you fight the urge to go to sleep on it, then it makes you oh, like a zombie. Really? That's on the movie Role Models. Probably. Stifler, Stifler takes Ambien on a camping trip with a bunch of kids so, yeah. and says if you fight it, you'll get all weird. Yes, you get absolute, absolutely goofed. And then also hooks up with a camp counselor. Yeah. so Great movie. Um, I mean, I might pull the old like over the shoulder shot move at the bar when you're <laughs> just have you hats on the wall. Have you guys ever actually done that? Because I've done that before. No, I have not. But so, I have done the. Uh, so this was my move if I didn't want to drink, and this happened a lot when I was bouncing at the bar and knew I had to go home that night. Like I would have a beer, take the shot, keep it in my mouth, and then spit it in my beer. Yeah, I just did that a few weeks ago. Yeah, because at that point it's. It's over. Well, once you know you don't want to drink, yeah, it's, it's over. You have to just take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. There's so much. There's. It's just so much better to sip on a beer for the rest of the night than to re- keep ripping shots. And well, why was it such a big deal for us to just not just say no? I don't want it. Peer pressure. Peer. Yeah. Peer pressure. Did you not take the dare course? It's the most powerful thing in the uh, world. Peer pressure. Funny story. I won the dare essay in Same. seventh grade. I did too. I was so proud. Yeah. Look at us now. Still, yep. <laughs> yeah. Get this guy an espresso. He's young. I know. Um, yeah. So I want to talk about this before we go anywhere. You're gonna. You're taking a hiatus. Uh. Yeah. 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 Uh, baby number two is any day now. Any day. So you said any day from now until April first. Yeah. So babies. So one calendar month. Babies due towards probably like two thirds of the way through March. I hope. I hope that your fiance goes into labor. Like during a YBR podcast, you just have to wrap shit up quick. Do you think Miles would wrap shit up quick no. or would he just let me no, leave? He would just let you leave, probably. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, I'm just trying to, I, I just need a day off here soon. So I'm um, trying to think of any way. I got to drive you to the hospital. Your truck ones start outside. So I can't leave my truck at the hospital. You want to just drop me off? Is there, do they charge for parking at no. the hospital? They don't. No. Okay. I don't know if they had long term, short term parking like y- the airport. Yeah, they got long term. How would you get a day off for his baby? Because his truck died. I had, to, I had to give him a ride there. And then I had, you know, he's got a like. Uh, yeah, I need Ryan. I forgot my overnight bag. So then Ryan had to get that for me. But then also I when I he went and got my overnight bag, I forgot to tell him that I need my glasses too. Because I can't wear my contacts for three days straight. Yeah. So then he had to go back and get my glasses. And then after he got came back with my glasses, Becca, she needed the pump, right? Mm-hmm. New baby. Got a pump. He had to go get that for us too. So Ryan is just running around all day for us. Hey, have, you ever, boy. have you ever tried to pump? No. <laughs> um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tempted. Really? The thing's kind of a weird looking machine. You should try it. You should uh, just try and see if anything. First first comes time out. when we had our first kid, uh, Becca's pumping, right? And I've never seen this machine in my life. First time dad. And all I do is hook up to the Bluetooth and just say, play pump it or any other song that says the word pump every time for the first three weeks, she was going to fucking yeah. kill me. Blast so you do, you have a sense of humor. Yeah. For the people that think Tyler doesn't have a sense of humor, he does. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump it louder. Pump, pump it louder. Yeah, that's a good one. I yeah. might have to use that one in the future. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Um. Okay, so what are we going to do? What are, Like, how's this going to work? Um, Who's going to... I, it pains me. It kills me. Deep inside, I've I'm feeling disgusted. But in this chair, will be fucking Matt. Who's gonna be in that chair? Not Mitch. The Prince of Parmesan himself. <laughs> no, I won't allow that. Sorry, Mitch. I know you're <laughs> gonna edit this, but Mitch is gonna say something you shouldn't. No, he won't get to talk. He just yeah, sits. We're unplugging his mic. Yeah, he'll behave. He behaved in in uh, Arizona. We let him talk on the podcast. Then he just like leaned over into Matt's mic. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna put him through. I'm gonna I'm gonna interview him before he comes on this. You should videotape it. Okay. Yeah, so that we can hold everything he says against <laughs> yeah. him. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just getting left. Hey, if you know, no, no, feel, feel free. Feel free to add any guests you want. Yeah, we can do it. Like maybe have Miles on for an episode. No. 
Okay. <laughs> we got to get a guest on this podcast. We should get a guest. We haven't soon. even talked about I'm doing so, it. We're yes, so we sick of each other. I know. Yeah. I sit here for you, one you hour. You guys literally said that on Sunday morning after the trip. Yeah. You guys need a break we need a break from each other. From each other. <laughs> we did. We did, Ryan. You and me. Man. Yeah. I mean, I was out of that casino so quick. Yeah. We were literally packing up to leave and we're like, we need a break from each other. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh. Well, I, it, the feeling's mutual. So you agreed. You're okay. about, we're about to get the break, too. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, congrats, Tyler. Thanks. Second kid. Um, but for the second segment, we need to really dive into something that holds near and dear to us. Mm -hmm. You know how I got the inspiration for this? How? Because you told me about this golf course in Minnesota. It's called Blueberry Pines. It looks really cool, right? The only way I would ever be able to see this is if I took a 20-mile detour uh -huh. going to Walker, Minnesota, <laughs> yeah. oh. trying to get to the ice golf tournament. And when I say 20 mile detour, I mean, we went 20 miles past the place we were supposed to turn mm -hmm. because someone in my car thought that they knew the route there and then completely tried to divert it to mm -hmm. something else. You know how that goes. Yep. Um, so we took a detour and lo and behold, we go by Blueberry Pines. I'm like, wow, this is sick. I got to get out here and play this course. So we're going to talk, we're going to talk golf courses domestically that are on our bucket list to play in our lifetime. Yes. So contiguous United States. What's that mean? The main 48 that are connected and then Alaska and Hawaii. No, are... you can Alaska, Hawaii. You can golf Alaska. I don't know why I asked that because none of them on my list are in Alaska or Hawaii. Or Hawaii so It's just golf... nice to get that out yeah, of the way. Yeah, I just wanted to double check in case I changed my mind. Golfing in Alaska was one of the sweeter things I've done. It's got to be pretty cool. One of, my, uh, one of them on my list is Alaska-esque. Okay, go on. Um, so we'll just roll right into it? Yeah, might as well. Our bucket list golf courses. Uh, my first one, Moonlight Basin. That's Where's that at? Sick. That is where Tom Brady and Phil and DeChambeau and Rogers Ooh. played the match. It's That's in Montana. Sick. It is gorgeous. Is it public? I don't know. Can you look that up, Matt? It's still yeah. on the bucket list. Moonlight Basin? Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be a cool course. The whole time I was watching that match, I was like, God, I got I to gotta get out there. We got to get out there and shoot a video. Do you think like they had to? As soon as the match aired, they had to have tons of people looking for memberships, right? Probably. I think it's in Yellowstone Club, to be honest. Really? Uh, Moonlight Basin. I don't think this is a public course. Either way, it's still on the list. It is a private, it is a private Jack course. Nicholas Jack Nicholas course. Mmm. And we'll get on it. Also, you know what we got to do? The people have been asking for it. We need to build our own course on 2K21. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's just, I mean, it's its work related. So let's just take an afternoon. Mm, that to, changes things. That's just a great take, Friday project. Yeah, it's a great Friday project, like before or after the Patreon episode for YBR. Um, so we hop up into the streaming studio. We build our own course, like, like one of these courses-esque. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you add esque to anything, it's like similar to what I'm speaking on. I feel on. like the course we build has to have all the amenities that we've talked about. Like it has to have a dispenser at every hole for I don't know if you can do that. Balls. Yeah, there's tons of stuff you can do on this. Really? That's why I'm a little nervous about it because there's the course building thing on PGA 2K is very dynamic. Well, we'll build the course and then we can put the amenities around it. Okay. I think we should we should just go off a skin, like start with a skin and then tweak it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can do whatever. Okay. Uh, but the people have been asking for it. And I want to get more back into playing 2K21. It was a fun game. Yeah, it was fun. So we got to do that. Um, all right. Well, the first one on my list, we've actually golfed before. It's TPC Stadium Course. Mm -hmm. But it is a full 18 at TPC Stadium Course. And you want to play it with the, the bleachers all the way up, not Correct. in construction. Yep. I would like to play it with fans in the stands. That would be sick. Maybe next year, Waste Management, we get we get into like the... Celebrity uh, tournament. Oh, like yeah, the this. Tuesday deal. Yep, the Tuesday deal. That would be sick. Well, uh, what, what kind of shot you think you'd hit there? Because uh, it's just on 16, right? Yep. How far is it? Uh, I think it's like a buck 70. Uh, it depends on where, the pin, where I would, the pin is. I would hit a nasty hook that looks like it's about to kill somebody in the stands, but then it hooks right back onto the green. Imagine if you had a hole-in-one. On that, on that day, on that hole. That would be pretty... I would brag about that forever, but unfortunately, according to golf.com, it wouldn't count. It would 1 million percent count. <laughs> Not according to the list. Yeah, but geez. That's an unbelievable feat. Yeah. Two guys have done it this year. Carlos Ortiz and... Uh, Sam Ryder. Sam Ryder. Sam Ryder Cup, Whistling Straits, which happens to be my next one, Tyler. That's on mine. 
Whistling Straits. Yep, we've Wisconsin. been there. Got the got a little taste of it. Um, counter to it, though, I would like to play it with no stands. Mm, counter to that, I would like to play in a cart. <laughs> Me too. But you can't. Really? I believe it's walking only. Fuck. Yeah. Well, they'll probably give you a caddy, though. Oh, 100%. Yeah, they got to be giving you a caddy. Yeah. Also, how much would you listen to that caddy if they gave you one? Um, never. Why? You got to pay him at the end. Yeah, I would tell the caddy, let's like, just let's just have a normal conversation. Sure. Nothing. You're not going to be able to fix me in 18 holes. What's buddy. your first question? <laughs> so, you ever got any crazy stories from out here? <laughs> What's your no. craziest <laughs> caddying story, man? Uh, I don't know. Or you could just lead it in with the so. How about that right in? <laughs> How many rounds a day do you do? Yeah. I mean... Do you ever get, like, sunburned? <laughs> <laughs> no, because they wear Tyvek suits. That's true. They wear full white Tyvek suits. You ever get tired of carrying people's clubs? Uh, the, the shoulders on those guys. I mean, we've already calves, talked caddy about caddy calves. calves. Have you the ever caddied for anyone famous? <laughs> <laughs> Was he sweet or not? Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I don't think you can drive it, but you can walk it. Uh there's like five thousand bunkers throughout the eighteen holes, yeah, which is unbelievable. <laughs> and you're you're never gonna it, be playing on the grass. It would you're be. You might as well just go play sand at the beach. Yeah, they have bunkers. Or play golf at the beach that are like a foot in diameter that yeah. I would hit. One hundred percent. If you're not hitting fairway, you're hitting bunkers. Yep. So that would be that would be definitely a top five course. Yeah, I'm with you. That was on my list as well. But also, there's really there's not a whole lot else to do around that area. Like, yeah, but th if this is purely golf, I'm it's, I'm keeping it on the list for sure. Hundred percent. And then Aaron Hills is right down the right down the road from Whistling Straits, and that's also another beautiful course. Okay, it's not on my list, but uh, I mean, if you made a weekend out of it, mm -hmm. that would be a ton of fun. So, uh, all right, I think total we're up to like a thousand dollars in green fees yep. so far through uh, two courses. At so, least. <laughs> um, all right, well, uh, yeah, t shirts. We gotta come out, start coming out with some new. We gotta come out with those uh, those. Drink t drink tokens. Yeah, we got to charge. Game. If we're going to play at these courses, we're going to have to charge like 80 bucks per token. Or yeah. we can charge people to play on our 2K course. We yeah. Gotta, we got to Green fees can be paywall. extraordinary. Link gotta, your PayPal. We got to start selling like Herbalife or something. <laughs> we need a side like hustle. Limelife or Some sort of, of golf pyramid scheme that we can. Yeah. yeah. Um, this ointment, rub it on your club. You guarantee an extra twenty yards. Some no, you just uh, you just eliminate the spin uh, on the ball. That's a real thing. The Vaseline on the club, right? That's what I'm saying. You just you just repurpose Vaseline into oh, a new bottle. Yeah, you put it in a cool looking ass bottle, and you're good. Yep. yep Can't wait to listen sweet. to that on Rick Shields podcast next week. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boss bitches? Are you looking to become your own boss? We've got the right thing for you. Yeah, but uh, we won't talk about the product at all. We'll just talk about how much money you can make. Yeah, just the lifestyle. The you lifestyle. Sell people on the idea of it and the lifestyle, not the fact that they have to actually go door to door. Yeah, you're not yeah. investing in the product. You're investing in yourself. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I would love to see you guys hop on Facebook with like your actual <laughs> friends list and write a long thing. Hey guys, I recently made the leap. And I'm now my own boss. Haven't I know I haven't talked to you since high school, but I hope things are going great. Is anyway, there, is there anything worse? No, I haven't. I've actually never received a message like that. I have once. What'd you say back? Uh, I just said no right away. I was like, this isn't going to happen. It was no, for like, no, so, I have. I have. Yeah, didn't you sell it actually? Didn't no. you buy in like <laughs> no. the energy drink thing in college? No, who was that? Someone in the office actually got into a pyramid scheme no i've never been to a pyramid scheme i used to like drink the herbalife things but i just go to like one of the shops and, and get it somebody here definitely got into it someone went into the do into the dorms really yeah no it was probably jake or somebody yeah anyway no it wasn't me um yeah matt do you got any bucket list courses i mean i'm still new to golf so mine are quite basic like the courses Augusta matt has or, played so far is like i'm beyond you have, spoiled yeah <laughs> It's ridiculous. You have <laughs> like jump started your golf career by five years. Hundred percent. Yeah, you probably haven't even played all the courses in town yet, and you've played fucking I've played Scottsdale. One course, I played one course in town. Oh, holy you, shit! Holy smokes! Yeah. And that's Prairie Wood. That Scottsdale was like probably the eighth course I've played in my life. <laughs> oh my god! Damn, dude. Yeah, we so gotta give him a reality check. Exactly. I need to go to like Idaho or something. <laughs> I, the Idaho courses were gorgeous. I'm sure they were. I was looking for a bad example. That's my bad. Um, Augusta is obviously. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. 
Uh, I would like Augusta. I would like Pebble Beach. I was going to say Pebble Beach like... second. I will say I'm a big fan. I played in some courses in North Carolina and Tennessee where there's like elevation. I'm a big fan of like you've being played, in a valley. You've played courses in North Carolina and Tennessee? When I lived there last year, yeah. Where haven't you lived? Seriously. Um, East Coast. Well, I'd and, say and that's like on said, the East I'm Coast. I'm also the living coast. there for a month, so living like we talked okay. about this weekend. Living is a strong word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, and there's some nice Myrtle Beach ones I played too when I live when I was there. Wait, so I thought you've only said you've played eight courses. It's okay, probably like 12, 12, 13. And they all are just the bougiest courses in the world and Prairie Wood. It's less than twenty. I promise you, it's less than twenty. Damn. That's crazy. It is. He might be. Has he played more courses than us? No, he's no. played probably nicer courses. That's yeah. messed up, Matt. That's sorry. that's actually really messed yeah, up. Yeah, that's my bad. What's your guys? deal? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my bad. Um. All right. Next on my list, Payne's Valley. Okay. Okay. Good. Because I thought we were gonna have the same list again. Payne's Valley Tiger's new course uh, came out a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Um. There's the famous. I believe. I believe it's a 19th hole where it's basically a floating green. Um, I, I want to say it's like 120, 130 yards out, but is there yeah, like I mean, a it, bridge to it or what? There is. Yeah. Uh, there's a bridge off the side. So if we go to Missouri this next year, um, we're definitely gonna have to make the trek over there. Yes. Go like a day early to go play that course. Mm-hmm. That'd be elite. Um, similar vibe for my third and final one. Uh, the Grove 23, Michael Jordan's course. I was just going to say that one. Did you yep. see they have drones instead of caddy mm-hmm. instead of, uh, uh, Bev Cart girls. Yep, they just deliver the beer to you. That's a bad idea. I don't like that. But why? I, I like the idea it of it. Seems like it would shake it up, or <laughs> the beer would spill all over you. I'm sure they put lids on it. You would hope, but I don't know. Or is drone technology that good yet? I mean, those be. the camera footage on those things is pretty stable. I suppose. And you can you can hover those things like without moving. No, yeah, but I'm saying picking up a plastic cup of beer with a drone and delivering it hundreds of yards away or they just deliver them in cans and they don't open the can maybe but wouldn't that still shake it up a little bit yeah i mean no no more than having it in your golf bag and like going through the whole course yeah i mean think about the bev card that thing's just yeah here's the thing i'm a lebron fan i'm just finding any way to hate on michael jordan <laughs> that i can really oh, you just yeah. said you were gonna put it on your list i would love to go lebum james Le mickey Le-ba. <laughs> Uh, the only problem I have with the drone delivery system is it will put the Bevcar girls out of business. Yeah, and I think a lot of older men go there for that fact, which is... I just, I want to support our local Bevcar girls. Yeah. Um, and I think the drone, unless they're hiring their Bevcar girls to r- operate the drones, then I might be out on the drone delivery system. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think it's just, it's the experience. Do you I think guess. Payne's Valley and the Grove 23 are truly like top of the line destination courses or are we romanticizing about them because of the people that built them? I think a little bit of both. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be top tier by any means, but they're going to be, they're going to be courses that you want to play if you have the chance to. Like they're not our, as nice as the courses I've played, but they're probably like right <laughs> in the middle. Something. But even like pop stroke tigers, mini puck course, like that was sweet. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just wondering like, is it the name tiger woods? That makes Payne's Valley a destination, or is Payne's Valley as cool as the name Tiger Woods? We'll have to just find out ourselves, I guess. I think as long as his name's on it, you have to do it. Like, and it's even, gonna be sweet regardless. You're not even gonna be paying attention to like the grass can I mean you will be mm-hmm. grass conditions, whatever. But, but like it, if Tiger threw his name, let's just use a local course. Like if Tiger put his name on Osgood, does Osgood instantly become one of the coolest courses in the world, or it, does the course trump the name attached to it? Well, I think it's because he designed it as well. Mm-hmm. He, Tiger never designed Osgood. If he did, it would be a lot sweeter than it is. And okay. I think if Tiger's name got attached, a lot of the workers at the course would step their game up. It's like when Peyton Manning joins the Broncos or Tom Brady right. joins the Buccaneers. Like the ships rise with the tide. Type thing. I think everyone like comes into work with a little extra pep vigor, in their step, and they yeah. want to like yeah. do a better job. So I think that just improves the course all around. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm still sure it's fucking sweet regardless. Yeah. I mean, 19th hole too, it's like uh, right off the cliff side. Yeah, um, that's dope. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, guys like us, we don't really golf for the conditions. Mm-hmm. We golf for the scenery. Mm-hmm. We golf for everything around it. Uh, we golf for the vibe, the scenery, all that kind of stuff. Like grass conditions, I'm usually hitting out of the rough anyway. So as long as the grass is a little bit longer in the rough, 
I'm not going to really notice a difference. Yep. Uh, I'm not taking like super fat beaver tail divots that are like beautiful coming out the club. It's it's I'm a scenery guy, hundred percent. If I'm going to choose a course because of the scenery, that's the main reason I picked the Moonlight Basin, just because it looks so cool. Yeah, I think uh, I mean Pebble Beach is obviously probably yep. on everyone's bucket list course. Never, obviously, never played it, but I've driven by it. Gorgeous, really. Yep, you have did the whole strip thing from Monterey, drove right through Pebble Beach. All the way to New York and then back to Fargo. Yeah, and then finished up on 18 at Pebble Beach. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was cool. It's a sick road trip. Yeah, it was nice. Um, TPC Sawgrass would be another one. Uh, Players Championship, I believe, is held there. Don't quote me on it, but um, I don't know. Any any PGA course, right? I think, is going to be period. like, hey, I, I just drove the ball as far as Phil Mickelson. Mm-hmm. Also, Phil's in hot water right now. Oh, yeah. Update Brand, on Phil. Brands are breaking up with Phil left and right. R.I.P. Callaway. The PGA is like cutting ties with him. Mm-hmm. Callaway. Um, I, the, that acronym that he wears like on his hat. I don't know. It's like Cape. It looks like a radio station. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, I was, I was actually surprised that the brands are pulling away. I was not surprised the PGA is. Yeah. Because he just openly slandered the shit out of the PGA. PGA. Well, it's kind of like the Tiger situation where like Nike and Monster and like all these companies cut ties with him when. He yeah, was... and you now he's Bridgestone, right? Yep. Well, I, I believe they like, I don't I don't know the whole situation. I think Nike re-signed with, I, I don't know. I don't they, know. They definitely but, pulled away, though, Yeah, when, when his, like, philanderous yep. details came out. So do yeah, you think Phil, he's going to... Phil has aged 10 years in the last two weeks. Yes. Do you think he resigns with somebody new, or does he pivot his career into an analyst sort of position? No, I don't think he can even be an analyst. I think, like, I not think... even for the PGA, but does he start his own golf page where he's, like... like Golfer's Digest isn't a part of the PGA, you know? Like, does he go and do something like that and work for a company like that? No, he goes and works for the Saudi Golf League. I don't think he wants to anymore, right? Yeah, I think he... He's yeah. got no other choice. True. <laughs> he has to. He strong-armed himself into the Saudi Yeah. League. Yeah, I think uh, the other bucket list course I want to play to is any course the Saudi Golf League is having <laughs> a tournament on. Yeah. I think that'd be sick. And Let's, also, going to Dubai and playing would be cool. That, I asked, that would be yeah. sweet. We should probably do that maybe next year. Hey, let's wait a little bit. Um, <laughs> God, we bring Matt to Dubai, and he's like, he's got like ten courses in his life. <laughs> yeah. Hitting What's it way right? Yeah. What's the name of the course where the Ryder Cup is in Rome? Because that one looks cool as hell. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It'd be it'd be a shame if we had someone on a computer who could Google it. What, what's, what's the <laughs> Ryder, Ryder Cup, Cup in Rome? Just look up Ryder Cup Rome. It is in. Marco Simone Golf and Country Club in Guidonia, Monticello. Oh near Rome. I've always wanted to go there. I was a Spaniard. You could <laughs> not have Spanish. butchured that so bad. Can you click, all right, click can on you, the it's link? It's Italian. It's click, not right, click on the no, link. Oh, can you tell me what it is then? It's it's in Italy. No, so but can you tell me what how to pronounce that? Uh, I can't read it from here. I'll turn this way. Uh, Marco Simone, Simone, not Simone. Guidonia, Guidonia, Monticello. Monticello. Okay, well I said it first. <laughs> Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what that what that course looks like, but I'm down. We got Google Images too. Like, ooh, that's sick. You want to know what's funny is every okay every course that has a website puts the home the homepage cover photo of their course with water in the background. Yep. Got to show off the features, right? What if you don't want to play around water though? <laughs> if, what if water's scary? <laughs> yeah, water moment. is scary. Sandy cheeks. But uh, I think they're just trying to let the people know that, hey, this is a, a legit course. If you don't want to, uh, if you're not playing at a high level, maybe don't come. Interesting. I, maybe, they, maybe they're gatekeeping a little bit. Yeah. Whenever um, we do inevitably open our own golf course, the website just has to have the shittiest pictures of the course <laughs> possible. This the course are the is, rough. <laughs> yep. Just super terrible grainy close-ups of the pin. Yeah. It's all word of mouth. You just yep. you push it word of mouth. Yeah, it's like one of those, uh, like you always hear about in like New York or LA, the hidden clubs, right? Yeah. They don't advertise. They have no signage outside. You just got to know where they are, hear about it from someone. Yeah. That would be so cool. It's like a speakeasy golf course in the middle of the woods somewhere. Yeah, like you're just driving on like this dirt road that, that seems like, like it's a dead end. But then all of a sudden, you just it's a big pine grove, right? And it just opens up. Here's this golf course that you can only find from drone shots. And you have to have some sort of password to get a tee time. Yeah, it's a breakfast ball. There you, you go. You know what they should do, dude? They should have like a Sims-style video game that is centered around like trying to make it 
as a pro golfer. <laughs> Like you wake up in the morning, you have like a protein shake, and you go hit some balls. Oh, I thought then, you were doing a bit because that you just that's do like that in career, PGA 2K. Career mode. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I haven't you played. Just, you don't do anything I gotta at start home. playing career mode. I got to start getting back into video games. Yeah, you don't do any of like the wake up, have a protein shake stuff, but you, you are a player working their way to the PGA. So how do you get your nutrition in then if you can't have protein uh, shakes? It's just that, that part is simulated. They skip that. assumed <laughs> that your guy's taking Everyone care just of Everyone simulates himself. the, the yeah. nutrition part. Okay, I get it. Um, but well, in next gen, I'm sure solved. you will be able to choose the diet. Next gen your... makes you brush your teeth, yeah. otherwise your breast smells yeah. bad. You make have to your, call got, and book yeah. tea time. It's just <laughs> like, way you too your, realistic. You got to yeah. make your bed. Yep. You got to like, oh, whoops. You got to like, ask your wife for permission to go play. <laughs> <laughs> and then if she says no, then you're just done with the game for that day. <laughs> then you have to just let the game sleep for like eight hours yeah. until yeah. the next day to ask her again. It's it's you make the cut Thursday and Friday. You play really well. You make the cut for Saturday, but your wife's got a baby shower. You got to go to so yeah. you don't get to play in the rest of the tournament. Yeah. Or you have to play really rushed and drive back <laughs> yep. and yep. go five over the speed limit. You, got, you gotta ask the group in front of you if you can play through quick. <laughs> the so dialogue is so intense. You have to like say the right things. Like, hey, you guys are doing really good. You look like you're having fun. Mind if I just like go through just so I'm not slowing you guys down? Yeah. No, it's kind of like a, um, it's like an Instagram poll where you have to like, someone asks a question, you have to guess the right answer, A through yeah. A, B, C, D. And if you guess it wrong, it like shows up in all red, whatever. Yep. So like you pick the wrong response to ask your wife, you can go golfing, so you can't. And then it just cuts to you mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> this would be electric. This is basically just like real life video game of our lives. Yeah, 100%. I think Meta is already working on this. <laughs> um, it's just the RGA, RGA 2K22, the regular golf association, regular golfer association. That would be fun. You could like the pinnacle of the game is you get to play at Pine to Palm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If well, you, I, if you don't out. show up, for, you don't show up for the the losers bracket. Like, can you for the next year? Your game doesn't work for one whole and year, and then the rest of the game is just you living a normal. It's just The Sims. You have to play through like a hundred hours of just regular person life to get a chance. You gotta to go to your fucking finish. kids' baseball games. <laughs> you just sit through it, just be miserable. <laughs> you get a desk job for a year. So it's, it's just my 2021 summer in a video game. <laughs> you can spend your virtual currency on a on a movie popcorn <laughs> like subscription yep. or whatever. Yep. Whew. Jesus Christ. All right. I thought we were done talking about that. Yeah, I did too, but I figured we'd bring it full circle. Should I try and get in? Should I go? Oh, also you can sign up right now, so you got to go sign up. Ooh, okay. Uh, do I have to email that guy or is there a way to no, sign up? No, he's out. Remember, he retired. Oh, yeah. Ask your grandpa if he retired. Um, because if that's the case, I'm I'm getting in. I'm gonna see if I can sign up too. <laughs> Actually, that would be funny. that would be sick. Uh, yeah, I would be. I'll down. caddy for both of you guys, <laughs> and then we're gonna get you. We're gonna find a way to get you. I gotta get it. There it is. There it is. Pine and Palm homepage <laughs> website. Water in the background. May of 2022 registration opens. Yeah, we gotta. Oh, it's not open yet. Doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. May of 2022. Yep. So. We're going to get you in, Ryan. If we have to do the fake mustache trench coat route, we'll do it. I know. I'm going to get in regardless. Maybe I don't want to get in. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I don't want to play. I You're just going to get a tea time for yourself here in town. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, here's what I should do. I should call them in the middle of the Pine to Palm tournament and ask if I can book a tea time. You should do it while I'm playing in the Pine to Palm. <laughs> yeah. Like from the cart, call the clubhouse. Just yeah. walk on. Fuck, that'd be sweet. Or just ask the guys that we're playing with, hey, you mind if I, you mind <laughs> if I just start playing? room for one yeah. more. Hey, not you, you mind if I join? I'm a sol I'm solo today. We'll golf with uh, Jason Mitch, who we golfed with last year. They don't there give we, a shit. Not at all. Done. Yeah, we're getting in. All right, should we wrap it up? Let's get out of here. All right, guys, episode 74. Yes. It's in the books. Um, Big time, big time St. Paddy's Day drop, people. Yep, oh, you bet you .com. Um, When this podcast airs a couple hours later, mm -hmm. the St. Paddy's Day merch is going to be live on the website. Yes, it is. As you're listening to this, more than likely, it is Wednesday, the 2nd of March. At 4 o'clock, everything will be on the website. Okay. Good to know. 4 o'clock. Um, two new Bush designs, another St. Paddy's Day design. Uh, yeah, it's going to be sweet. So get your green. Get ready for St. Paddy's Day weekend. Hit the uh, the website, oyoubetcha.com, and we'll see you in episode 75. Bye. Hell, that's a breakfast ball.